In this tutorial, we'll learn how to upload files from our PC to Google Drive with files info stored in Excel using Google Drive API in Python. So this is a pretty useful automation script. We want to copy or move multiple files from your PC to a Google Drive. All right, so here in my project folder, inside this uh, My Files folder, I have a list of files I want to upload to my Google Drive account. And let me go into my Google Drive account. So I want to move my files to this uh, My Stuff folder. And for some of the files, I want to uh, move the file to the uh, main folder. And here's the spreadsheet itself. So from this template, uh, these three columns are the properties that I'm going to uh, assign to my file when I upload the files to my Google Drive. And column D is going to be the file path where the files are located. All right, so uh, let's do this. I want to navigate to Drive's API documentation page. And I want to go to reference. And to upload a file, I'll be using files.create method. And the reason I want to go to uh, Google Drive's documentation page because I want to point out that it can only upload a file that is up to 512 gigabytes. And we can upload any file type. And below is the uh, properties that we can specify in our Python script that uh, you want to include when you upload a file. So we can include things like my type, description, create time, and a couple other uh, properties. And I'll lead you to navigate the information on your own. All right, so that's everything I want to cover from the documentation. Oh, and one more thing. So I wrote this uh, utility module called Google APIs. And make sure that you download the source code to uh, this Python script first. And because I'll be using the uh, script to create my Google Drive service instance. Now let me dive into my uh, Python script. All right, so here I'm going to, here let me increase the font size. From the import statement, I'm going to import pandas library to load the Excel file. And from Google APIs, I'm going to import the create service function. And to convert a file to byte strings, from Google API client, Uh, HTTP, I'm going to import the media file upload class. And that's going to be all the libraries that I'll be using. Now I'm going to create my client file variable, and it's going to be the client file file path. Then we need to provide the API name, and it's going to be drive. API version is going to be v3 and the scopes. For Google Drive scope, I'm going to use the drive scope and it's going to be www.googleapis.com slash auth slash drive. Now I can create my Google Drive service instant using the create service function. And we need to provide the client file, API name, API version, and scopes. Now I want to load the Excel files list into a data frame object. I'll name the object file list. And from pd.vexcel, I'm going to insert the Excel file path. And it's going to be template dot excel sx and the version name is going to be files all right so if we look at the spreadsheet itself so some of the files have folder id assigned and the folder id is tied to this uh, my stuff folder id and you can get the folder id from the link from the top 
I also want to uh, specify which file is important and which ones are not by using the starter property. And because uh, when we load the Excel table, the blank value is going to be treated as uh, NA. So I want to place the NA value with an empty string. Then I want to erase row. So I'm going to say for row in file list dot iterate rows. And this statement is going to return as a tuple. The first element is going to be the index, and the second element is going to be the row record. So I'm going to reference the row object followed by the second element. And here I want to reference the field by inserting the column name. And I'll name file name as file name. And for folder ID, I'll name that as parent folder ID. And for starter column, I'll name this as starter. And finally, I'm going to grab the file path. Before we can upload a file to Google Drive, we need to figure out a file's mic type. And we can figure out a file's mic type using the MIMES type uh, library. And here, let me go back to the top. And I'm going to import my types library. And this is one of the uh, standard library. And to figure out a file's my type, I can reference my types library dot gas type. Now insert the file path. And this function, this uh, gas type function is going to return two items. The first element is going to be the my type and the second element is going to be the encoding. Then I can convert a file to byte string using the media file upload class. And also the file path. And I'll name the output as media content. And it's going to be the last step. We're going to uh, construct our request body JSON representation. Inside the request body dictionary, we're going to specify the file name using names property. And here you can uh, change the file name to anything you want, but I'm going to use the original file name. I also want to specify if a file is going to be started. Now I want to go back to the documentation. If we want to upload a file to a folder, we'll need to specify the parent's folder's ID. And this property takes a list. And unfortunately, we cannot assign a noun value or empty string to parent's ID. And from our list, we have a file that does not have a folder ID assigned. In that case, I'm going to insert an if condition. I'm going to say, if parent folder ID is not empty, then I can add the parent's ID to the request body object. And it's going to be a list. And inside the list, we're going to insert parent folder ID variable. And here I'm going to insert a print message. I want to say uploading file followed by the file name. Then we can upload the file using service.files.create method. Inside the create method, we need to specify the body parameter. I'm going to supply request body object. And for the media content, I'm going to assign media content object to media body parameter. That execute. Right, so that's going to be the entire script. 
Now to go back to my Google Drive. Now I'm going to press F5 to run the script. Oh, yeah, uh, it's not finding the file name. And let me do this. Let me delete my token files folder. And let me fix the Excel file name. Right, so let me run the script again. And it's going to ask me to choose the account that I want to authenticate and choose your account. And on this page, click on events, then click on this link to proceed. Now I need to grant permission to the app. All right, so on this page, you can close the tab. And here I can see the, oh. So here I forgot to uh, reassign the output to my folders object. Now let me delete these two files. Now, let me run the script again. All right, so looks like all the files are uploaded. And I should expect five files uh, in my my start folder and one file in my main drive. And if we take a look at the list, if I do a quick count, and here I have six items with five files have four IDs. And one file is going to be uploaded to the home page. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.